Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to Urban CG TV. I am your host, the Art Poet, and today we'll be um, talking about bump mapping. I'll show you guys how to create a bump map using texture painting through the Blender, uh, the Blender game engine. But first, we're going to start out. I'm going to show you guys how I uh, go to the texture uh, window, and we'll go over to slots, and we're going to create a new texture slot. And we're going to name it a bump map. I'm going to add new texture and click normal. I got the video sped up just a little bit. Not too fast, but got it sped up just a little bit. Hopefully, you guys can follow along. Um, once I uh, I name the map, I create a new normal map. I name it bump. And then I uh, the width and the height will be 2048. And I'm going to pull up the color on it a slight, a slight gray. Not too dark, not too light. And then I'll apply the texture. And this is how we have it looking so far. I think uh, applying a bump map through texture paint is a uh, it's a lot more convenient, you know, especially if uh, you know with sculpting high um, high poly models and you're trying to use them for a uh, for a game engine. Uh, making a bump map through texture mapping is a uh, it's pretty convenient. It's pretty dope as well. Alrighty, now I'm going to um, apply the texture. I got like a wood grain texture for the top of his uh, his armor. Uh, this, of course, the spike is probably going to be stone, and I got the pad right there as you can see it. I'm going to use a wood like texture to uh, to uh, outline the top of the the pad. I guess the stuff on the, going around it, I might make it a make it gold or maybe silver. I haven't thought that far yet. Let me talk. All of today is just totally freestyle. I pulled this character out of my character vault, so let's get it. I'm going to start by a row. I think I'm gonna rotate this uh this wood texture. I think it might look way better rotated. And so we go down to where it says angle. I think it's at zero percent right now. I'm gonna rotate it to like ninety percent. Not quite. No, that's too far. Alrighty. No, I be 90 will do. Yeah, 90 will do perfect. <clears throat> Uh, once I have the model and the angle in which I have it applied, I'll pull my strength up a little bit, scale the brush, and then we'll start with the bump mapping. And whoa, uh, definitely ain't bump mapping. Looks good for the texture, but we're trying to apply the uh, the actual f the physical outlook of the uh, of the wood. That'll probably be for the color map. So we're gonna have to go back. I believe I know what I did wrong. Yeah, we gotta fix this, buddy. Okay. okay. All right. Now we're good. Now as you can see, I'm using a. In the text painting brush, I use stencil. I'll use first. I'll use the stencil brush for this part of the uh, tutorial anyway, and I easily lay the wood textures over the, you know, the armor, the the pad. I'm going for both sides. That looks pretty good, man. And this way, it keeps my model low poly. You can run on any game engine. Or any, you know, whatever animation without, you know, the least amount of lag is possible. I'm going to continue to lay it over the pads a little bit. Perfect. 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 
see what we can do now to continue to introduce uh, bump mapping. <coughs> Uh, probably gonna need another steel texture. I'll come back to that. Probably have to start with the the skin, the reptile reptilian skin. I think you guys might have seen on the corner. We'll be using that next. Alrighty. Set this light and move this camera so I can get a clear angle of the back view of the model. And I'm not using stencil this time. I'm using uh, tile as far as uh, the brush options on the texture part. I got the strength up just a little bit. I got the radius like 30, 32, small. Go back to stencil real quick. It's not working for the bottom half of the model. Hmm. Interesting. I have to go back and check that out. All right, well, screw the bottom right now. We're going to go straight to the helmet. Well, I think I have a couple textures that I might want to use on the helmet. Like I said, everybody, this I'm just freestyling this. I'm just going with the flow. I probably do have a couple of rough textures. I'll go back and use the stencil on the back, though. Finish it up. Didn't want too much scaly skin on his back, but I can't really use the tail of his bottom half for a uh, for an example so I like it guess I use it back hmm. all right time to do the helmet I think I'll use that texture for the top part of the helmet Not too bad. Alrighty, and so far it looks pretty good. Like I said, no extra uh, polygons added, so it's still a low poly model. Fairly low poly, anyway. Gonna add some more uh, reptile skin on a little bit around the body. Kind of show you guys a little bit more how this uh, bump mapping works. It's pretty good, though. If we were scoped in this man, shit. Bottom still not working for some reason. I have to find that out. Let's see here. Well, I guess I'm going to do the uh, the gauntlets or the armbands around the wrist. I got a nice texture for that, like a stone kind of metalish texture. Let me see how it looks. I had it tiled, I probably do start with the stencil. Get a wider range and that looks good. It looks real good. I'm 
nice. I'm going to do the other side. Lightly applying the pressure. All right, guys. It was like that'll be it for this uh, tutorial. Uh, stay tuned for my channel. I will be dropping. I got a lot of new content that we're going to be dropping uh, this week and for the next couple months. And you guys stay tuned. Uh, a lot of learning to be done. Um, a lot of inspiration as well. Uh, you guys continue to support me, my channel, uh, Urban CG TV. I also support Upper Echelon Games and. Uh, we appreciate it in peace. Remember to inspire everyone.